What's going on everybody? It's your boy Beast here back with another crock pot recipe. Today we're going to make some tangy beef and we only need three ingredients. Just got back from the gym and before I came home I picked these ingredients up which are two pounds of beef stew, uh, some ginger ale and some ketchup. Now all you need is 12 ounces of the ginger ale so a can will do you good. They didn't have a can so I just got the bottle so I will just eye it I'll put in a little bit more than half of the bottle and for the ketchup all you need is about a cup's worth again I'm just gonna eye it it's so good you know you're not gonna eat or you know all that sauce you're not gonna take it in if anything you just use a little bit to pour it over whatever else you serve including the meat itself all right so we're just gonna put the meat into the crock pot followed by the ginger ale then the ketchup then we stir there's really no particular order to this there's really nothing to it at all you see the ingredients are really simple and if you're not familiar with the crock pot all you got to do is set it and forget it just go about your day go do you go handle your business whatever all right so like I said stir it up a little bit make sure the ketchup dissolves some into the ginger ale and cover it and put it on low and you're gonna leave it there for a good eight hours All right. if you want you could set it on high and just cook it for about five hours but it's you know it's, it's really nothing it's really up to you okay and be careful always guys when you open a crock pot a lot of steam is gonna pop up alright so always make sure you take a step back as you see the steam hit the camera right there but better the camera than my face so be careful and don't burn yourself all right and that's what the beef looks like pretty much is almost done uh, it's really tender you'll see when I poke it with the fork the meat just falls right off of the fork that's how soft it is and once I put it on my plate I'll show you what the inside of the actual meat looks like guys it's really juicy it's really tender really delicious uh, just have it with some rice as you see I put some sauce on the rice itself I made a little bit of salad with cucumbers strawberries and apples and a little bit of lime juice and that's it that's what my dinner looks like like I said I'm gonna show you what the meat looks like on the inside you'll see when I put the spoon to it it just falls right apart the inside is nice and succulent nice and juicy yeah give it a try tell me what you think Thank you for watching. Y'all hold it down.